Good morning. Hello, everybody. I'm going live while I groom my girl, Maybelline. I'm Carrie Peterson, and I am the owner of Maltese Groom. And today we're going to be grooming Maybelline. She is getting ready to be groomed in the sink. And basically, I'm just going to be dematting her and getting her ready. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. And I hope that you can hear me okay. So let me know in the comments if you can hear me. So first I'm gonna take her top knot out. These are band removal scissors. And we're gonna take her top knot out. Like that. And then I'm going to start dematting her top knot. This is a slicker brush. How are you guys? So after I get her all brushed out, then I'm going to go take her to the sink. I will wash her, condition her coat, and hopefully you guys can hear me okay. You can comment and let me know if you're watching on YouTube. Let me know if you can hear me okay. So she's got some mats on her elbows. I'm gonna go ahead and put her hair back up so that it's out of her face so she can see what I'm doing. Let's see if you guys can. band her hair back up. I'm trying to find. Just want to get her hair out of her face. Now, sometimes you can do two top knots, but I'm just going to do one right now, okay? Just to get it out of her face, like so, okay? Now, when I'm dematting her shoulder, I'm going to turn her like this. Let's see if I can scooch you guys closer here. And when you're using a slicker brush, uh, basically, what you want to do is make sure that you're not going against the dog's skin. You want to go against your hand when you're dematting. Okay, so I'm going to turn her so it's easier for me. I You can demat them before or after bathing. I personally think that you lose less hair when you are doing this after bathing and i'll tell you why because just like when you put conditioner in your hair it helps to get the mats out You can also mist it a little bit. Looking for my conditioner. I have a conditioner that I use. This is one of them. This is Ice on Ice by Chris Christensen. So you just spray a little bit on, and it helps to detangle, helps to condition the coat. Her ears are long. She was previously in full coat, so I put her in this Asian pet cut. Just 
to keep her legs long and Just helps to get the mats out. They get matted on their elbows a lot from laying in their bed, from the movement of their body, obviously their shoulder. It's not touching her skin right now. It's my finger. My the hair is resting on my fingers, so that noise you hear is my fingers. And no, it does not hurt. Okay. If you're on YouTube, you can go ahead and let me know if you can hear me okay, because I'm fairly new to stre streaming live on YouTube, and I don't know if you guys can hear me. So there should be a comment section that you guys can let me know if you can hear me okay. We're just dematting her before I give her a bath. I'll bathe her today, maybe tomorrow. That's important. So if they go to the groomer, they're going to brush them out, demat them. So if you can keep up with the brushing and the dematting before they go to the groomer, that's really going to help your dog. Could potentially help you save money. And the probability of them cutting the dog down, cutting all the hair off, is lower because obviously... They don't have to struggle with with uh, dematting the dog. I gave her some whimsy chewies, and she's got some on her coat, so it's kind of kind of got some sticky stuff. Another reason that it might help if you groom the dog first, if you bathe them first. Okay. So that one's done. She had a big mat up here. We've gotten rid of it. And as you can see, it's just silky now. She's got a mat in her ear. So I just missed a little bit. The ice on ice is nice. It conditions the coat, gets the static out. I'll put a link below where to purchase this. You can get it on Amazon. I'll put a link later when I'm done streaming. How are you guys? Okay. Next, I'm going to demat her foot right here. If they if they chew their feet a lot, or if they she likes to chew on her whimsy treats. They'll get mats on the inner part of their leg here. Maltese are very typical. They don't like to have their feet messed with. So, very common. And she also likes to lick and chew her feet. Let me know in the comments if you have a dog that likes to lick and chew their feet. Sometimes their feet will turn red from their from the dog chewing on their feet. Missed it a little bit more. You're gonna lose some coat. So if you don't brush your I don't brush her every day, so if you don't brush them every day, you're more inclined to lose coat when you do demat them. So it's just easier to brush them every day, right? But if you're super busy like me and you don't have time to brush them every day, then you just brush them once a week. Some people, they see the slicker brush and they think, my gosh, it seems so rough. Um, the bristles are very small. 
and you can see they're very fine bristles and that's what breaks up the actual mat okay but it doesn't hurt them okay it's flexible and i'll put in the comment section um what type of brush this is this is an all system slicker brush okay so we got this one done okay and I'm going to do her other front leg over here. Same thing. She's got mats right here. See this mat? Take the camera off and show you guys. You can see that she has this mat. And I'm just going to spray some um, spray on that. And I'm going to work on getting it out. If you guys have any questions, you can comment below. Make sure you click subscribe to our channel so you get any updated updates on videos that I post. Um, Thanks for tuning in, guys. It's not showing me your comments, but you're staying here, so I'm assuming you guys can hear me okay. Now, if you have a show dog, you want to keep them in a very heavy conditioner so that they don't get mats. Uh, Maybelline is just a pet, so I don't have to worry about losing coat on her. But if you have a show dog, you definitely want to prevent the mats. You can do that through using a heavy oil. You can wrap the dog. Um, she goes outside and she plays with Leo, our other little toy, toy dog. So it's uh, easy for her to get mats. I let her have Chewies. Uh, usually show dogs don't have chewies and things like that because they break their facial finishings and they, um, you know, overall they just, they live a very controlled environment to be suitable for growing coat. Maybelline loves to be groomed. Don't you? Yeah. She loves it. If you have a dog that is does not love being groomed, I totally understand that too. Some of them hate being groomed. And that's why I have this. This is a tub leash that I make. You can buy them at MalteseGroom.com. And basically, you can attach this. It goes underneath their shoulders and across their chest to hold them still. So that's an option too. So, so far I've dematted her ears, both her legs. And next I'm going to work on getting her little eye boulders out of her eyes. So I'm using a greyhound comb. There we go. If you have tear staining, make sure that the hair is not poking them in the eye. Make sure they don't have inverted eyelashes. Uh, another thing that can cause tear staining is if their teeth need to be cleaned, if they have a lot of plaque buildup, the inflammation in the gums. Um, if they're a puppy and they're cutting teeth, that can cause tear staining. 
Okay. So this is quite the process here. So now I'm just going to mist, mist the coat. It's like she's got some caca on her hair here. I'm going to just cut that out. Okay, so now I'm going to work on dematting her, her backside. <clears throat> they also mat a lot on their tail. Because the tail is where they, they sit on it. They lay in their bed. You know, um, some of them chew their tail. If they're chewing their tail, you're going to know it. Because literally, like, their tail hair is going to get thinner and thinner and thinner. So if you're just tuning in, I'm using a all system slicker brush. I'm using ice on ice, ice on ice. If you guys could comment below and let me know what you guys use to groom your Maltese or any questions that you guys might have. Let me know, is your dog in full coat? Is your dog in, you know, a pet cut? Helps me to know what kind of content you guys would enjoy seeing. So again, here her tail is. Unfortunately, when you keep the tail long, it gets dragged on the ground and stuff when they go outside and so on and so forth. So it's one of the main places that... The reason I usually... Uh, wash the dog first is because then you're brushing a clean coat instead of a dirty coat, which you get less breakage. If you need to learn how to groom, I have a full course you can purchase at MalteseGroom.com. I teach you everything from um, what supplies to buy and different hairstyles to trim them in and things like that. Oops. Okay, so she's got a mat right here. So I'm going to work on that. The dematting takes quite a while um, if you're not brushing them every day. Where are you guys tuning in from? Let me know in the comments where you guys are tuning in from. I usually I used to go live on Facebook, so I know some people are still learning this platform, but there is a chat section by the video that you can comment just like Facebook. If you're watching the replay, let me know in the comments that you're watching the replay after this is posted. They, uh, if they like to jump up and down on stuff, um, the back of their legs, she jumps up and down in her playpen a lot, so she gets mats on her back of her legs.
If you have a mat that um, is real tight to the skin and you can't get it out, one tool that you can use is a mat breaker. Let me see if I can get it for you guys to show you. Um, it does cut the actual coat. And this is called a mat breaker. As you can see, it has a blade, oh. a serrated blade. So you would put this part by the dog and drag this through the mat and it will get the mat. It'll cut the mat and then you can just comb it out. But you would only use this if it's a mat that's so severe to the skin that you can't get it out. So that's about it. I pretty much have her dematted for the most part. Um, so then I will go and, you know, wash her, condition her coat. And um, essentially, that's how you grow a coat like this, right? A lot of con So, you know, people say, how do you grow a coat like that? Well, it's a multitude of things, right? It's her nutrition. It is genetics. It is... Good, using good tools like this um, and it's just you know upkeep right maintenance so if you take your dog to the groomer every six weeks and you don't do anything to the coat for you know all those weeks uh, the coat is going to get in pretty bad condition so I typically groom her once a week Maybelline gets groomed once a week so I hope that helps and if you're watching the replay, comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. Let me know um, how else I can help. Have a great weekend, you guys. And we will catch you next time. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell so that you get updates on the content when we post it. So when I post new videos, you will get notified. It will send you an email. And if you have your notifications on your phone turned on, will notify you there as well. So I hope you didn't enjoyed me watching DMAT her today. You guys have a great Saturday and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.